Hello, I'm Pat Jennings. I'm a doctor, a clown, and a social activist. When I was a boy, my father fought in the Korean War. At the time, we lived in Germany where my father was stationed. Later on in the war, my father was killed. After that, we had nothing to do but return to the United States. When we got back to America, I started attending public school, where I was an outcast and was bullied pretty much every day. The bullying led me to become suicidal. I didn't want to deal with life anymore. I was hospitalized three times for attempted suicide, and eventually overcame suicidal thoughts. After that, I decided I wanted to help people. When I graduated high school, I went to two medical universities. During a lecture at Virginia Commonwealth University, one of the colleges I went to, I noticed that the relationship between doctor and patient was not as good as it should be. Doctors treated patients like they were scum of the earth, so I went on a quest to change that. Others say that I inspire people to never give up on their dreams, like I, I never give up on mine. Although I did not do college, I did study acting at John Ray, Andrew Sick, Robert Brooks School for Dramatic Arts. I learned about fame when I was modeling in New York City. I was also being casting for Roman Seasons, so I in California. I've made Hollywood ever since. I'm a pretty popular woman from where I first filmed us. I was being Nick of Lucy in the Lucy Show. My best friend, my son, Bill, and I Love Lucy, where I co starred my husband, Destiny Arnett. We were working together until I Love Lucy was retired in 1957. Three years later, Destiny had divorced, and I remarried Gary Moore, and he called me for Lucy Bob Drunkins, and produced a media film such as Life of Lucy that was canceled two months to the film. My parents are George and Gertrude Temple. Before I was born, my mother was a dancer, and at the age of three, when I was able to watch, she rolled me to dance classes. One time I was at the dance studio, and these men walked in, and it was my great talent in singing and dancing. Turns out, the men were from Fox Film, singing and dancing. Turns out, the men were from Fox Film, the age of six, I featured in my first film called Stand Up and Show. Throughout the next few years, I featured in a series of different movies. As a teenager, I was very mature for my age and graduated from Westby High School for Girls. A few decades, a few decades later, I ran for Congress. I didn't win the election, but I got to be a U.S. delegate for the United Nations. I was on a business meeting out of time, out of town one time, when I discovered I wasn't scared. But when I got home, I went to the doctor and discovered I had breast cancer. And underwent a procedure called a mastectomy and also had an amputation. But I didn't put that down because I went on to be the ambassador of Czechoslovakia and Ghana. When I got back to the United States, the White House made me the first female chief. That was all a long time ago, but now I live happily in California raising my people.